everyone. Yeah, everybody quiet now. Here we go. It's uh, that time of the week where we all gather around the Bull Studio and talk about things affecting our life and yours in a segment we like to call BSing. <laughs> BSing. <laughs> because other than telling Jake what our topic is, there's no planning. It's literally a BSing session. Well, right? I mean, we're, we don't we don't want to like lose that organic appeal of what we do in the hallway, and so we're trying to recreate it here in the studio yeah. with cameras and microphones in front of us. Um, so what we do is it's Tony, Jake, Jen, Danny Dwyer, and myself, uh, Mojo. We all get together, breach, bring a topic, either in pop culture, in our lives, something affecting us here in the Northwest, or uh, just something that we are personally struggling with that we all go around and make fun of each other about, uh, more or less. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. Exactly. That's BSing. Right. Yeah, so we're uh, literally BSing. Um, and we, let's see, who wants to start today? I, I mean, I know we have a lot of topics to get through. Let's start with Jen today. Jen has... Last week we got to her last, so let's start with her oh, today. That's true. See, yeah. chivalry is Aww, not dead. Ladies that was, first. That was kind. Jen, you have the floor. <sighs> this is very riveting. Um, <laughs> okay. You can see on the Facebook Live. Uh, the best place that has the best Diet Coke. <laughs> the best because place that has the best Diet Coke. Because every okay. fast food place I go to, like, and I get Diet Coke, right. or if I just want Diet Coke, they're all different. Yeah. All of them. They do, and I think that's real. It's not just imagine you'd think like Diet Coke. Is Diet Coke? Yeah, you know, I think they control it, but there are certain things you can do to enhance the Diet Coke. And mm-hmm. I think, like Burger King and McDonald's, Burger King is my vote. And I think they—it's how they filter their water. I think they—they they like triple filter it or something like mm-hmm. that. They brag about this. It's <laughs> like really sometimes, does the yeah. beer, <laughs> and sometimes they mess with Cold the filtered. with the balance of of water to syrup ratio and that sort of thing too. Mm-hmm. I know for me, it's McDonald's. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I would guess you did work in a fast food restaurant at some point in your life. I never have, believe it or not. Like, I've I never... can totally see you wearing a cute hat and taking an order. <laughs> I've been doing this for... <laughs> Thank you. That's it. I don't know how you to take that. You see that smartest in the Northwest yeah. crown he wears a... every day. <laughs> He's actually... I have to give it up every day. <laughs> Mojo is actually my boss, so I may be doing that next week. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, you know, you have a knack for flipping burgers, Tony. Um... I never have. I, I've done the waiter anything, but I've never worked at the fast food. Jen, you have, though, right? Yeah, I worked at McDonald's when I was 18. Okay. How and funny. You're, yeah, we you worked with a bunch of friends. No, it is it's the it is the best job a young person can have, I think, to teach them how to work with the public. Absolutely. Because you're going to get it all. Right. <laughs> I mean, you're going to get the jerks. You're going to get the nice people. You're going to yeah. get, you know, you're going right. to have. Well, and I've worked, I worked retail also. Ooh. Like, oh, I've done that once. Clothing stores. So I've seen all of it from, you know, from. American Eatable all the way up to like really high end bridal wear. I've been everywhere in between, but McDonald's was the funnest because I worked with a bunch of friends. I worked with my husband before oh, we were cool. married. <laughs> like there was just a bunch of us that all worked together. And so you'd I, say you were loving it. Um, <laughs> I got nuggies half off, so that was oh, that's cool. even Fun better. Fact: Did you know that Justin Timberlake wrote that jingle that da 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 da, and every time you hear it, like he gets another nickel or something? Shut no the front way. door. Oh, yeah. no, no for real. Way. In fact, I think they took it off of a song that wasn't released that he had, and they're like, "Oh, that'd make a great jingle for McDonald's," and so they what? bought so it they from just- him. Said, okay, we can't release that song like, now. Wow. He literally, <laughs> yeah, right. He literally doesn't have to work just off of that McDonald's money. Oh my god, unbelievable, um, crazy. Now you have an answer, Tony and Danny. Favorite place to get the McDonald's. Di- McDonald's? Yeah. Uh, or do you even notice? I, you know what? I got to be perfectly honest with you. With all the kidney stones that I've had the last couple of years, Ooh, yeah. I've uh, pretty much stopped drinking soda. Well, Art. Captain Buzzkill over here. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, mine's I just, actually Sonic. Is it? It's not McDonald's. Oh, because the ice, the ice, the ice, yeah. Yeah. The ice changes it. But I want to go back to Jake's uh, thing. I didn't know that they filtered out the water. Now, I was thinking um, something like a Target that serves f- you know, food every now and then. Right. Um, those oh. containers that they come in is that syrup just sits there. So some days, you know, like an hour will go by, no Diet Coke's taken as a McDonald's or Burger King or fast food. It's constantly being hit. That's I didn't true. realize that. So maybe that was the taste. But I didn't know that. I didn't know they separated the water like that. There's some. I saw it, and I think that they only. It's not like they have signs about it, but they do like in the trade blogs or whatever. Wow. Talk about how they, they. If you notice that your fast food joint has got better Diet Coke, it's because <laughs> they use this. better water. Interesting. Huh. Interesting. Have huh. you noticed? And I think we can all agree on this. Is there anything worse? Hashtag absolute worse than putting your cup up to the thing, pushing it down, and seeing the liquid come out, and it's only clear. Yes. Yeah. Like, or, or maybe there's faintly the dark liquid, and you mm-hmm. take a drink, and you're like, "That's that's yeah. that's wrong. Yeah. 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 Right. That coke's out." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. And then it takes them forever. You're right. sitting there, your meal's all gone. You still haven't got your dang soda. Right. Or the, the worst beyond that is if you asked for diet and you Get take regular. a sip and they gave you regular and you're like, oh. Happened to me no. last night. Oh, yep. oh that is. Yeah. Yeah, I was all excited because, you know, I, I gave up sugar for New Year's. And so that's one of my things is I, I've just been committed to just diet sodas. And I know diet sodas aren't good. I just, I need it. So, yeah, um, yeah spare you us don't the, smoke, you don't drink coffee. That's yeah, your fix. Yeah, that's gotcha. I like. I the diet it. cokes are going to give you brain tumors, by the way. You yeah. can you can have a comment below and let us know what you think. Kevin says uh, you can't do diet drinks because the flavor varies so much uh, from tolerable to downright horrible, as you guys are talking that's about. That's funny. Hmm. Uh, and, <laughs> and I agree too. with that because we talked about this earlier, too. Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi. I think Coke and Pepsi, I can barely tell the difference. Oh, I can. I, oh, oh, I yeah. can. Pepsi, yeah, they're real close for me. Yeah. Like, I don't drink it enough to know. You can barely know. Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi, the whole world of soda is yes. between those two. Yeah. Wow. I agree. Yeah, it's funny. Now, Doc, Diet Dr. Pepper? Ooh. No, I think it's good. Sometimes it's really good. Sometimes it tastes it's more not, like regular Dr. Pepper. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one thing I was reading, too, about fast food, um, they were talking, there was like this poll of fast food employees and the things to avoid off the menu because, you know, things happen. And the number one answer across the board was the soda machine. Hmm. They say they don't, they don't clean it frequently enough. Uh, this is according oh, to a survey, so don't quote me from this. But, fruit flies. Um, and, all and they said the ice is like germ central. Oh, God. Ooh. Great. I know. I just ruined it. <laughs> I, I'll take my ice bottle. I'll go khaki huh? careless. <laughs> yeah, because they, 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 show up, they get the ice bucket. They pour, dump it in there. Like how many times have they washed that between uses? Like mm -hmm. they, uh, that checks off a lot of boxes, and they said avoid yeah. that at all costs. Yeah, I'm, I'm the guy that drops something on the floor, and mm, a lot of times I pick that up and eat it. But there's also something to be said <laughs> for always <laughs> having uh, everything sterile in your life and you never build up immunities for those germs. So there's something to be said for having that in the mix. Very true. Yeah. Okay. And if somebody's like doing the Pauly Shore, you know, wheezing the juice out of the uh, out of the machine, nobody ever, yeah. no mouth ever touches it. Okay. Right? But if you see someone do that, would you go up and fill up your drink? Yeah, Jake would. Yeah. A little yeah, yeah, he would. Just brush it off. I, I got a nap. Let me think your napkin, kid. You're talking, We're about, good. A, you're talking about a guy to eat sushi in his hot tub. He'll do anything. So. Sure. This is true. What's wrong with that? <laughs> well, let's go to the hot tub. Actually, man. a lot. Danny, read my blog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. the bull.com. That salmon wasn't getting through the filter, huh? Yes. <laughs> you think you're in water. There's raw fish. You're supposed to raw it live in water. It, it yeah. doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you bringing to the table today, Mr. Hot Tub Eater? Uh, this is a an idea that I've had for a long time, and I think it's a good time to launch it. I want to do. I want to propose that we switch to a, a different societal structure in America. So this mm -hmm. is a big one. Um, you know how we were talking <laughs> about this, and this spawned a long time ago. You know, Chick Fil A is closed on Sundays and stuff like that. True. A lot of businesses are closed on the weekends. Banks, you can't do any banking on the weekends. Let's switch to a A and B society. Okay. A society is one set of people. And those set of people just live in a society. They work uh, four days a week. Oh. Must be nice. And they're off <laughs> three days a week. Okay. Okay. B society, usually uh, it's a different type of people. Uh, generally, this would cover like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but that's the days that they work. They work for 13 hours, you know, like Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday, and Sunday, and then they have the rest of the week off. In this society, there's twice as many jobs. Oh, there's okay. two full economies and they do cross over because you're not dead on the weekends. You do go out and you visit the businesses because you have mm. three days. If you try to go to a bank when you have a real job. It's impossible. How do you get there? That's right. so true. They're working at the same time that you're working in a B society. The bank is open on all your days off. <laughs> but does the cost of operation go up because they have to pay? Two of course, the full time employees. easily offset by the uh, the fact that we now can uh, uh, withstand as many people as we want. Hey, you're gonna you're gonna make more money because you're working harder, maybe yeah, working you're, you're, more. You're, well, I mean, all businesses will make more money. You got mm -hmm. all that much more income. You right. got more money going out the door for more employees. That's fine. Right. Traffic's less. True. So, so, what is your question? I'm in. There's no question. Oh, he's just this suggesting it. This is the it. start. Yeah. Of the movement. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Where we switch to AB society. Are you in AB idea incubation mode right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 This is his platform as he runs for mayor of Beaverton. Right. He's going to start <laughs> there and he's going to have an AB society. <laughs> yeah. This is. And awesome. if you don't like it, see your way out. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I like it. Yeah. I'm. I'm A. I like A. I don't know why. I, uh, I'll take either. I think there's something to be said for B. And hear me out. If you're working weekends, you suddenly have the weekdays. And think about all the things you could do without having to wait in lines, deal with big crowds of people, because True. you're kind of counter no, countercurrent. No, because half the people are going to be on your society. There's not going to be weekends. There will always be, you know, somebody operating all businesses at all times. Right. But 
parents have school. Yeah, parents who have kids have school they have to worry about, so that cuts out half. There's A and B school. Oh, okay. oh, so you're doing A and B and <laughs> schools too. I'm talking society has changed. Is A B? Yeah, he's taking two wow. different worlds in one world. I'm yeah. still going with A. I like A. Yeah. I like A. A's fine. I can see both sides of that. I'll if take you, a 13-hour day for four every, days off a week. If well, everything is that way, then yeah, maybe no, I would. That's what I mean, like everything. I, I actually worked at, and I said I worked at a mental hospital. No, I wasn't in it. I worked at it. <laughs> and right. they had a couple of the people that would do that. They worked 13-hour days all through the weekend, and then they were off the rest of the week. It's like firefighters. And they were exhausted, but they loved it. Yeah, firefighters nurses do that. Nurses do the... And, yeah, healthcare yeah. workers have the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they nurses. do three days on, four it's days totally off. totally doable. Yeah. That's Five how hospitals on. are always open is because they have these people working crazy weird shifts. Hmm. Okay. Jake for mayor 2020. Let's, Let's make it this. happen. Yeah, I yeah. actually... <laughs> I have yet to have yeah. somebody give me a real downside to it. Okay, so let's take our operation into consideration for mm-hmm. this. But uh, we have us five. Yep. How do we divvy it up and do four and three that way? We do. We, well, you we have would, a whole second staff. Yeah, we would all be in a society. So you think they're just going to grow their budget and make that happen? Yeah, there will be there will be a bigger economy. It'll be double. <laughs> I don't understand. It, I, I, think, I don't I, think you're, I, yeah. you're taking the bottom line into consideration in budgets, and I think that's that's the reality part of this that isn't in the equation. No, it does work. It does work because there's a whole separate you know staff that, with its own ad budget, its own ad dollars coming. But we're through. already a uh, 24 hour seven day a week operation that makes revenue constantly in in advertising. How would that change? How would we grow our income to justify the added expense of having the A and B situation? That you you have an entire dedicated society that you're broadcasting to. So A society or the people who are listening to us now, they just shift to A. Some people will shift to B and they'll I'm be not listening talk- to the new B morning show. I'm not I'm not talking about the audience. I'm talking about our structure internally. How do we we hire another staff and just or do we yep. do you guys all take pay cuts? No, they hire another staff. But with what money? With the, the new the money, money that, that we're they're getting. making. Yeah. But would it be new money? That's what I'm saying. We, we're already revenueing 24-7 on this thing. But uh, we're not maximizing potential because we don't have, you know, like we don't have all of us throughout the weekends. You know, True. this is the best staff that this station can come up with. We I would know. have two of them. Ooh, high bar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we would have to. I know. Well, Catch sorry, the where's, you got? The where's the bar? Where's the bar? <laughs> no, I. I <laughs> And there's that. <laughs> uh, I have I have some budgetary concerns about that, but I think the idea in concept is something that I would love to escape and mentally soak that in for a while. And uh, let me add in, this is just speaking for myself. For sure. But for a four day week or a three day week, yeah, I'll take a pay cut. Okay. Even though you have to work longer days. Who are we kidding? You work mm. long days anyway. Yeah. What do you think? Comment below. I want to. I'm curious about this. A society, this. B society. A society, B society. You in? And if so, are you A side or B I'll side? Ta- I'll take a pay cut for four yeah. day a week. Yeah, totally. Yeah, but I mean, you already get those. You I take every you Friday have, uh, anyway. Already, yeah, I do already. Did have anybody it. in this? <laughs> anybody in this room have block scheduling back in school? Uh, we yeah. went to it in Texas the last year I was there, I believe. Four what day a week that? block scheduling. Yes, I believe. Gosh, I want to mm-hmm. say it's been so long. Years. My freshman year in high school, it's block scheduling is what they switched to. So you would do four periods a day. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to say like four semesters a year or something like that. I think my kids might have had something. Ooh, like that. and you had Friday off. Oh, that's cool. It was great. Yeah, uh, it was here's, fantastic. Here's a couple of thoughts. Um, Harder for parents though. Yeah, True. because they sure, got totally. they got to come up with. This was daycare. high school, so I think different story. Yeah, and it was you know yeah. in the '90s, so like right, we and could, that's we why we could just be unsupervised. Oh, back sure. Then. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that's totally why. Knives, whatever. Right. Well, that's why I was thinking of the A program because Monday through Friday. I want my kids in school, yeah. But on on I would take that Friday because I like to get outdoors and do stuff with them. So sure. I would go fishing, hunting, camping, yeah, whatever. Because it'd be an A and B school, you'd have to have a couple. Well, right. here's a few comments uh, from below here. Uh, Beth says, "Try going on a date when you work Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights." Uh, she's all for it, Jake, because that date nights are hard to come by, especially when you're working the opposite schedule yeah. as your husband. Dates are hard to come That's by. True. Come on. You would, uh, you would have trouble <laughs> dating somebody from the other society. Sure, yeah, it and wouldn't work. Dustin yeah. brings up a good point. You should try uh, being an over-the-road truck driver. Uh, but I guess that would make things easier, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. But, Businesses yeah. don't work Monday through Friday only, so that changes that dynamic. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, but Dustin, also, as a truck driver, you can only drive for so many hours on a logged schedule. Yeah. And a lot of the trucks are now going through the electronic service, so at that Eight-hour period, you got to your computers. Over. You got to roll over. So I don't know yeah. if that would work for them. And I wouldn't want your truck drivers doing thirteen-hour shifts. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, and they used to. A lot of them used to. Probably wouldn't yeah. switch just because they already are kind of doing it. Sure. 
Hmm. But D- Dustin, thank you for being a trucker because we got it, you brought it, and we appreciate it. Give us one of those. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You got it. That's it. We well, got it. You brought it. Is yeah. that what he said? I like <laughs> we it. Got it. You brought it. When I lived in New Zealand, a lot oh, of their society. Funk- Which car did you have? Number one, two, or three? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, she had one and two because it's a two-car garage at that chateau. Oh, it wasn't right. the three-car that at she the used chateau. Two? We're yes. making fun of you because you and you lived in New Zealand. And Why is that yeah. funny? Well, you're kind of oh, hoardy. You're kind of bougie. You're you're slumming it mm, over three cars and. <laughs> New Zealand was not bougie. I was there on mission work, so oh, I lived oh, in the. Oh, oh, oh yes, just leading in the people to Jesus. How do you feel now? Oh, right. I'm sorry. I lived in the basement of a church, with mice. Yeah, oh, not bougie. Um, Did the mice yeah, have accents? Yeah. Okay. Did they help you sew like Cinderella? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> These are things that keep you up at night. These are. This is actually how BSing works in the yes. hallways. Is I say something and then everybody squirrel. In the hallway, it's ADD <laughs> BS. It was pretty focused, actually. Yeah, we were all on the same joke at the same time. Yeah. yeah. So, everybody got it, but you. And then I got the crazy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when you were in New Zealand, <laughs> there um, the, uh, a lot of businesses run on that four three really schedule. Like it's not a five two. But they have this. Europeans have a similar. I don't know if it's an AB, <laughs> but it's a like a four day work week. Yes, yeah. but there's and, four three people. And, like they have this. I, yeah, it's very yes, it's very similar. <laughs> We've been talking about it for half an hour. Well, no. I couldn't get a word in. <laughs> Well, and the funny thing is, is that their society, too, like if you always see these reports every now and then, like Mm -hmm. Americans are the worst at taking vacation. And I'm not bringing it up because Jake and I get a lot of vacation, but I'm bringing it up because the fact that like they encourage it. Like, no, you are not coming to work. You are going to take your vacation. For the record, I also encourage you guys. I give you a hard time for having, you know, 40 days for the love. 40 days. But I hate it. I no, but you guys got to take it. That's what you have it. You worked share. hard to earn it. I know. I know. Sharing I know. is caring. Maybe you want to share with somebody who has sleepless nights because they have a little baby who is also named Bridger. <laughs> Nobody wants to have a baby. <laughs> That's right. I, told, I would have told her not to if I'd have known you. One guy time. did. Hey, Spencer. <laughs> what did I say, though, when you, when you said, told us you were pregnant? Enjoy your sleep now. Yep, exactly. And then you were exactly. all cocky when you had that baby. Oh, he sleeps in the night. I'm such a lucky parent. I have an immaculate He's baby. He's teething. Yeah. 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 I was like, oh, yeah, just wait till he starts teething. Yeah. But, hey, but 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 New Zealand has has this concept, but they also have a lot of European influence in that mm-hmm. they live in smaller spaces mm-hmm. and um, nude like beaches everywhere. No, oh. well maybe I didn't go to them. I was on a mission. Again. <laughs> Jesus, right. um, that's a, how we were born. This was not a party trip. Jesus? Yeah, this wasn't a spring break trip for <laughs> Jesus. Invented the birthday suit, Tony. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> That is true. Yeah, Adam, right. and, Adam, and, Eve were in, <laughs> right. Adam and Eve were in the right. birthday suit. Yeah, they had a figure. All right, speaking about work, <laughs> let's talk about something that everybody's a part of, and I think it's affecting not yes. just my personal friends, but I think it's affecting a lot of people that we all know, and it's the government shutdown. Huh. I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of Trump and Pelosi fighting back and forth. Just figure it out already, because I have a really good friend who used to work here at the station with us, uh, Scott, he was an engineer, is now a member of the Coast Guard. Second week, no paycheck, but yet he's still having to report to work to save lives because people are stupid and doing dumb, stupid things. There's also the TSA workers. If you heard on Sunday, 10% of the workforce called in sick. On Thursday, it was 7%, so it's getting worse each week. Oh, good. We're flying tomorrow. Yes. Mm. So, And with the TSA <laughs> and the lines that everyone has to deal with, it's not fair, and I don't think that the government should be in this situation. I'm sure a lot of people are probably saying, yes, I'm tired of it. But I'm really proud of this because there are a few people who are really stepping up to the plate to help out. And a lot more we probably haven't heard of yet, and this is your opportunity to let us know. Right. Um, I checked in with Skyview or Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Vancouver the other day when I was out running some errands, and they said yes. If you're a member of the furlough government shutdown and you can show an ID, we'll let you and your family, up to three people, come in and jump for one hour free to get your mind out of the workspace and sure. let you have a real life, let you enjoy something mm-hmm. instead of the stress. Um, I just heard last night that the Portland Sunshine Division is putting boxes together. Love that. Uh, and they're going to start distributing them as early as Friday. That's a great organization. Yes. We, did, uh, we worked with them with uh, Horns Up for Hunger in the fall. Yep. Uh, I just found out this morning that the Oregon Zoo and OMSI is also offering people, uh, if, you, if you can show an ID, that you're also getting uh, free 
experiences there if as well. If only all of this stuff was located in one central spot that we can all go to and tap into those resources. I think I took care of that already. Oh, cool. Yeah. Tell us about that, yeah, Danny. It's online at 987thebull.com. You can look <laughs> up Danny. It's right on the homepage. <laughs> if you want to help out, you're a business, uh, and you and you want got something going on that we don't know about, email me, Danny at 987thebull or Danny.dwyer at 987thebull.com and Alpha Media. And we'll get it put up on the page. We want to help everybody because I think it's a time that we all need to stretch out and hug one another and help everybody. No, I, I love that you put that together too. Thank you for taking that on. Um, but email him if you have other, if you're a business and you're doing something to, to help those affected by the yeah. shutdown. I have an idea on how we can fix the shutdown immediately. Go. Yeah? All senators, all House, all government people in that realm. Right. No pay. Uh, I'm okay. down. Well, 100%. Well, that, no, I'm that's so all them. That'll let, speed things up real quick. That's, Am I that's right? only no, fair. You're not. Right. That is only fair. I it's mean, only, it, I agree with you. Let's yeah. do it, but that's not going to fix it. It's, it, it it's, I think it'll speed things along more than where we're at. Nah. Depends. No. I think they'll be more in the position to feel what everybody else is feeling. Yeah. Like they're kind of unaware of the hurt that's happening to people. And I, I don't know if this is true. I heard that. That those people don't even take the same insurance as the rest of government employees no, do. They no, don't. they don't. They get they get the top of the line. Yeah, right. I think all they of don't that. Get the crap should, we're paying. Yeah, right. Then yeah. If you change that dynamic, and suddenly they might have a little more empathy for those being affected. And maybe you guys know this. I don't, but I know as the president, you have Secret Service covering you at twenty four seven, no matter what. But not is, not the other presidents. Yeah, they yeah do. they do. Yeah. Oh, they no, still have Secret, Secret Service covering Service them. But for they're being, life. they're unpaid. But they're, they're still yeah. All Secret Service is unpaid huh? right now. Sure, right. all secret services for life. completely. <laughs> but oh, does wow. that count for senators as well, and, <laughs> and yeah. Democrats and all that stuff? I mean, Republicans and Democrats, because if that be the case, maybe all of a sudden they lose all their security. What's going to happen? Well, we can't have like vulnerable representatives. I'm vulnerable. Or can we? I'm, why? <laughs> why can't we? The whole country's joking, vulnerable right now. No, they're not. Not in the same way. Not life or death like that. We can't like. So um, I have full a pretty... protection from uh, people you don't like. Well, I saw a, a former President Bush had to go buy his Secret Service that, that guard him who aren't being paid. He went and bought him you know, a stack of pizzas the other day because, you know, he had bread. They're, 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 they're protecting what, his life. They'd rather him hand them cash. I can imagine. Well, sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> and there's that. But, but in the situation. Yeah. And look, they're supposed to get back pay when it all gets resolved, but who knows when that's going to happen. Right. Yeah, but right. if you do the research, and I, I don't remember what it is, I can tell you that I'm one of them. Uh most people are about one or two paychecks away from bankruptcy. Sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Like being – and bankruptcy is kind of an exaggeration, but that was the way it was phrased. Uh, they're they're two, pay, two paychecks away from being put in a horrible situation. Or one medical Because here's what's going to happen. Their credit's going to suffer. Yeah. And when your credit suffers, you know, You're done. then it's just kind of a spiral from there for some people. Right. I think this has been quite eye-opening for the nation in terms of, like, financial responsibility – like, I think it shows that a lot of families are just living paycheck to paycheck and not, well, you know, look at our saving. Government. We're just doing what our government does. Over, I mean, ex- overextending but, but families aren't saving. Like, <laughs> right. uh, like yeah. there are families who know that this type of thing could happen because the, the difference is, is, and I have the pretty unpopular opinion in this, I think, but a lot of these families are obviously in a position where they, they can't be saving as much as they want. But us in the private sector, if we lose our job, yeah, we have unemployment, but we're not guaranteed to come back to a job that's also going to back pay us. Like in the right. private sector, if you lose that's work, true. you could be out of work for six to eight months and you're really put in a financial struggle. So I really feel really bad for these people that are on the verge of like no food, no house and whatever. Right. But they're mm-hmm. guaranteed to get their job back. And most of them are going to get a big fat check. With all this back pay money, that it might take them a while to catch up with some of the stuff, but they're guaranteed that. And a, a lot of people who have been talking about, you know, like when teachers go on strike, this is a very similar situation. He's using the same tactic that teachers use. And when teachers go on strike, parents are put in a very similar situation as government workers because all of a sudden they have to either be home, right. they have to find daycare for their kids that's unavailable. So, uh, I mean, I don't disagree with his tactics necessarily because, I mean, he's a dealer. He's a business guy. He's trying to do something different that works, and it's not any different than anybody else who goes on a strike. I do hate that it has to affect, <laughs> like, so affect many millions of people. Yeah. That sucks let, really badly. Let me, but Let me – can I piggyback off that? 
Not the interrupt yeah, you? Yeah. Because I want to go along with kind of. I know okay. I have the unpopular opinion here. I, no, no. Who cares? We all have opinions. It's all good. Uh, I here's the thing. Did, did we elect? Did the country elect Donald Trump president? Yes. Yes. Did he say in his, in his statements, "I want to build a wall"? Yes. And we elected that. He we elected the man president. So shouldn't he get his wall? Well, I mean, there was a lot. I'm of not saying he whether said. I agree is, with it or not. Is that the only reason we uh, that no, no, people no. voted for him? Is what I'm oh, saying. Oh, it's a huge reason. Well, okay, huge reason that some people like. There's people that are irate that now that they they voted for a man who's not going to be able to do what he wanted to do. Now, I'm not saying that what he's wanting to do is right. I'm not going to go down that argument because that's a lose lose for me. But I <laughs> I, I think. That was that was a big part of his policy. I mean, that was a big part, especially you go through the southern, you, you go along the border of Mexico right. down there. Those people want that damn wall, and they no, will. They, they they oh, they do, Jake. No, they, they do. Seen, you I've don't seen think both. the people of Texas want a wall between them and Mexico? Not all the people. I've seen both no, sides. I've seen people say the people, they do, and I've seen people say no, they don't. So. A majority must. He wouldn't be president of the United States. He is the he, whether we like it or not, whether you like the man or not, he is the president of the United States. And one of his biggest platforms was here. I'm going to do this, this, and this. And then he gets in office and he wants to do this, this, and this. And we say, no, you can't do it. And then people don't understand the problem. He promised the American people, I'm going to build a wall. But he also promised that <laughs> Mexico was going to pay for it. <laughs> well, so that, everybody uh, yeah, bought into that. True. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, well, they're not going to pay for it. So well, I mean, we that, know that, that now. really, that could be his out. <laughs> He could say, well, they, I can't get Mexico to pay for it. Do you see him as a person that would never that back would down? Put back down first. He is a narcissist. No, he's not he going to back down. He is not going to back down. <laughs> he that, has enough money that, to pay for his own wall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, <laughs> at the end of the day, <laughs> Jeff Bezos can pay hey, for the wall. Well, there yeah. you go. There's a solution. Yeah. Problem can solved. Can we Amazon Trump Prime a wall? I'm right. the, 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 <laughs> the thing about we'll it, have it, it done free in shipping. two days. <laughs> but what has to happen, you know, is. is is when this next election rolls around, people have to get out and vote, oh. no matter what side you're on. Right. Because you you hear a lot of people complain about Donald Trump right now. I mean, I've never been in my lifetime. There's never been a president more hated that I know of. Right. Well, I'm saying, you know what? That that's fine. But you got to get out. You got to get the vote out. Mm -hmm. And getting and and you got to get to work for this. Right. I because, think it's safe to say 2020 yeah. will be the most voted on election in American. History. I agree. It'd it be has hard to, to believe be. it won't. Be. And yeah. I hope so because right. I really would like to see that there is a president that gets elected and it's so overwhelming that no one can bitch. Right. He's like, you know what, the guy's president. And you see, this was so close, and then you go to the electoral votes, and you go to the popular votes, and it's so, so you got this. I, and, Didn't Reagan win on that kind of and, like, and, like that, and, that kind of landslide? Is that right? I don't know. It was the little before he, my time. Yeah, Tony, I, Tony, I, you I, were in your 40s at that point, right? I don't that remember right the before me. That was really that was younger, I, I, I But I do remember he did win by a landslide because— like It was like a not, no question landslide. Right. Like was His was to raise money in, in for the country to get the deficit I, down, not make yeah, overwhelming right, promises. I hope the next president, I'll all say, is somebody that can bring this country back together. Have you not so, so. seen What happened? We had, we had Barack Obama, who I, I was—that was— that was I thought that was polarizing. I thought, man, I've never seen and the hatred for him. It, it was it disgusted me, you right. know, in this this anger. And then so then you got half the country pissed off. Right. And then we go straight to Donald Trump that pisses off the other. Half. Now we everybody's pissed. Right. I mean, it's like we it's have weird. got to have such change. But it's have in, you noticed, though? Uh, sorry, I'm not to interrupt no, you. Fine. But have you noticed that the last couple of nights, like I every night I'm religiously watching ABC Evening News because I want to see what is going on with this shutdown. But I've noticed in the last five days, there's like four women now that have said, I'm running for president in 2020. I, and I, that's <laughs> yeah. great. I love that. I freaking love that. Are any of them going for the Republican Party? Yeah. Uh, Is it all Democratic no. nominees? Uh, one no, of the, you don't challenge your own party's president. Yeah. But one guy is, but that's. But it, that's I know. I think, <laughs> I, think the, I think it might be the lady from California. That it said she wants to run in 2020. And she's going to give it a whirl. Yeah. And I'm talking I, about Kamala Harris? Yeah. Yes. Kamala Harris, yeah. Yeah. And and I was but, I was out to dinner actually with a, a lady recently and you we, we, yeah I know no. it's hard to believe I had to pay for dinner <laughs> and <laughs> at the we, we, start we, with a swipe we made the mistake of, of talking about politics oh god on yeah. a first date Tony yes yes uh, oh. and I, I rule number know, one on a first date she, don't talk about politics she is she was so anti Trump that literally and, and I'm not this I'm I'm not making fun of her she she literally teared up 
It kind of chokes me up because she was so emotional about us, uh, him being our president, right? And how uh, and how she just disgusted her. And I said to her, I said, you know, I meet a lot of women like that. And I said, you guys got to get out and vote, right? When this next election rolls around, I said, you women in this country could really. Sw- I mean, you can, that's Sweet what happened. The Christians do it all the time, right? They come in, they all vote, and they change the election. And I said, if women want to bound together on this, I think they can They can decide who's president. Right. I, I don't know. And I said, and she kind of looked at me like, no, no, I don't think so. I'm like, there's a lot of women in this country. That was something else yeah. that was brought up about the the women's march that took place in Washington this last or two years ago, was it? Yeah. And it took place in all the cities, Seattle, yeah, Portland, year, LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's insane. Yeah. And that's one of the big things that they're really focusing on this year. So I agree with you hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. I totally. mean, I'm not saying one way, I'm not going to pick a side, but I yeah. believe that you see all these different groups of people that are very passionate about who they want in office. Right. And you say, man, if you bound together, you can't be, I don't know. Can you be beat? I mean, you know, if all this group says we're going this direction, if all the people that Tony Swipe left on on Bumble got together and voted, they could change the world. <laughs> I'm telling you now. No, if all the ones that swipe left on me would get together, you could, they could right. get any president they We're want. We're talking to both of you. Yeah, the ones uh, that have swiped right, there's like three. <laughs> So, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, the right, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was the joke. Yeah, it's been so long since he's been on there. That, that, you suck. You don't even know whether you swipe left or right. He's got that pretty little girlfriend now. Oh, he's, he's, left he's, and right? I've been swiping up this whole time. He's just swiping it up. Didn't work. That's a super like. Right. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I never oh, get one of those. I didn't even know that. Things we're learning today. Yeah. Does that work on the Bumble for Friends, too, Tony? <laughs> no. Uh, no. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't got way on my This turned into the Lars Larson show already. Jeez, I know. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring it up like that. Uh, <laughs> anybody got a concealed carry in the room? <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, we're officially gone down Lars's road. <laughs> Try to come uh, through the door. Lars, you can hear weekdays on our sister station, KXL. Uh, Lars is taking up a collection to build a wall. <laughs> By the way, I one of the... I actually did the Lars math on that. Asked, oh, Tony, you're not you, far off. I did the math no. on that. I looked up the number of people that voted for Trump. And if every single person who cast a vote for him paid $100 toward a wall fund, you would have over $5 billion. Wow. So there was a GoFundMe started. I, I guarantee all I'm he has saying. to say is if you, if you don't, if you put send, your money where your mouth is. Yeah. If you send Donald Trump $100, they'll put your name on one of the bricks. That would work. Right. You're going to go. All right, bricks, I thought it was going to be those slanted metal things. I, I don't anyway, know. Slats. The slats. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Uh, well, your topic kind of has to do with women yeah. in a way. Uh, mm-hmm. What was yours today? No, I'm good. You're I, not going to do it. I don't now? have any more energy. I'll bring that back next week. I, I, I took up. I took up 90 percent today. So you got I'm, like intense there for a minute. I well, I, I just, I, you know, I want. I, I don't. I'm to the point. I don't care anymore. I don't really care who's president. <laughs> I just want people to get out and vote, and to the point, such a such a huge turnout that at the end of the day, even if I let's say that Danny ran against you for president, and majority of the people voted for Danny, and I voted for you because I would. Because you're my boss, uh, ass. then I want to be able to say, you know what? Here, do I have a dollar? They didn't elect my guy or my lady, but it's such a majority. It's so huge of a turnout. This is who, this is who America wants, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna be on board. I, I I'm gonna ask a question, and I know we yeah. don't want to keep talking politics really really quick, but no, maybe let's maybe, do that all day. maybe this is a general concept, and I don't know. Maybe this is just my thinking. That everybody voted for Trump because he was coming at everything so hot and heavy, like, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to change this, and I'm going to change that. We're going to build right. a wall. We're going to do And then all of a sudden, everything's like, oh, I changed my mind today, like he tells the news every day. Like, I didn't say that yesterday. Or Michael Cohen. No, I don't know who he is. <laughs> yeah. Was that the concept? Do you think that that's the case? Like, everybody was built on him? Like, let's roll with him to see what it, what happens? Mm-hmm. Now we're like, oh, shit, you know, we need to change our mind. Oh, like I told you, I voted for the man. I did, and now I'm going. Holy crap! I'm right. not, you know. I, I that's all I'll say about it. But I'm like this. I thought the guy that I saw running for office was going to be the, that was like part of his reality show. Right. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I thought. Too. And now I find myself going. In, uh, uh, I have a feeling we're going to have a two-term elect uh, re- reality show. I really believe that. I oh, believe boy. he's going to get elected again. But I also thought the New England Patriots were never going to get in the Super Bowl. <laughs> well, we know that isn't the case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Jake couldn't be happier about it. Jen, not so much. <laughs> oh, look at that smile. <laughs> yeah. He's like, Want to bet more Chinese food? He still owes you from That's like half a fact, of I do. Half <laughs> last year he still hasn't paid off yet. Ooh, I'm not ever betting against him again. So, so let me lift the wall for a minute. I mean, the, cur- the curtain. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Uh, Freudian slip. Tomorrow, uh, Jake, 
Jen and myself are all traveling to Memphis to go visit St. Jude for their uh, their their seminar for the the radiothons they do. Home of the King, baby. Uh, I've been doing a lot <laughs> of traveling lately. Go to see my kids and whatnot, and then got a bunch lined up. Um, so I started taking down some observations, and I've come up, and I'm sure there's more, and that's what I want to go around the room with. I've come up with the seven deadly sins of traveling. Oh jeez. Uh, oh you ready my gosh. gosh. Yes. Okay. Yep. Tell me if you agree or disagree, and then when we get done with the list, let's add to it, because I'm sure you all have some things you've seen that make you just cringe when it mm-hmm. comes to traveling. Yes. Uh, I'll start with number one, the seven deadly sins of traveling. The <laughs> open mouth coffers. Oh. If you don't cough into your elbow or cover your damn <laughs> mouth, I'm going to have words with you. Yes. Cover your mouth. <laughs> I agree. No, teach you the right <laughs> way. Don't You're spread not. those germs. I will. You're not going to have words with nobody. Oh, we're flying tomorrow, Jake. You want to see he, me? I do. He has words with me every day. I know he has the gall. He I have no that. filter, especially <laughs> your boss. Especially you're not going to butt into somebody's business and tell them to it's cover their mouth. Especially if I've been drinking. Oh, bring it. Well, yeah, that, leads to, no. that leads me to number two: the drunk guy or girl. Don't get hammered on the airplane, Jen. Jen, will you start a brawl? Oh, no, no, no. All right. Who wants to bet Mojo will be more drunk than Jen? Well, we're flying that. out at seven in the morning. No, no. Of course oh. I will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, see, that was a real joke, and you <laughs> delivered it. That was good. But Jen, <laughs> Jen, last time got hammered, didn't end up going on the plane. But had she did, that's why we were bad. getting hammered we were because yeah. we knew we weren't. <laughs> get a buzz, catch your wave, do you? But come on, don't get completely hammered to where you're a complete nuisance and you have to get handcuffed or zip tied on the airplane. Okay. Right. Uh, so that's number two. Number Strong three. Been handcuffed. Jen, you might find this as a personal jab. It's not. You're screaming, baby. Come on. First of all, you have a six-month-old. Why are you on an airplane? What's so important? Couldn't you drive? Just saying. Oh, man. Can you fly to Hawaii? Or drive to Hawaii? Why would you take a six-month-old on a plane to Hawaii? Because you want to go to Hawaii. It, you can't just leave them behind. Yeah, because that's the <laughs> easiest age to travel with. They can't walk away. They sleep. I and- had a six-month-old when I went to Hawaii, and guess who didn't go to Hawaii? The six month old. I think you're pissed about it, and now you're taking it out no, on other six month olds. Wait, it's, it's just annoying. The baby's ears pop and stuff, and they don't know what's going on, and they get restless, and it's just, it's, it's frustrating. There's but, two sides to that. Because yeah, no, I put yeah, me I next know. to the screaming baby. I right. Know, I agree. Like, hey, listen, I understand. Maybe they're flying. Not. Let's not use Hawaii. Let's use <laughs> like. <laughs> Nebraska, because they're going to see grandma and grandpa that they haven't seen in a long time. Could you have driven? Sure. Could grandma and grandpa come here? Sure. But does there, I don't want to be sitting next to the screaming kid either. But I have kids of my own, and they screamed, and I had to deal with people yelling at me, and I understand. So it's a hit and miss. I get it. Yeah. Hey, okay. The seven deadly sins of traveling. <laughs> Number four, stinky food connoisseur. If you come on with a plate of broccoli and cauliflower <laughs> or some stinky food that reeks of the whole airplane— yeah, I'm gonna politely ask you to cover that up, put the Tupperware lid back on, or dispose <laughs> of it. Wait, so wait, I can't bring my Chinese food. Wait, wait, are you airplane? gonna be sitting near Jake on the plane? I'll be sitting. Near, I don't because know if I'm near Jake you, or Jim, but I'm sure food will be coming out of little, both of their mouths. His, his smart ass mind over there is taking notes of all these things, and he's gonna do like six Shoot. of them. Right. <laughs> I would like to point out that I mean, <laughs> there's one. Let me grab that carrot and cauliflower. <laughs> Please video it, Jake. Yeah. I, you know, I, there's a reason that the food they serve on the airlines isn't of the stinky nature. Okay. That's a good point. Right? I never thought of that. They're I not never serving up hard boiled eggs on an airplane. Just That's saying. because they can't afford it. Well, and there's that. How great! Sure, how how your old one is always telling us to fun. make good videos so they go viral on social media. Take some hard boiled eggs on the plane tomorrow and have someone video it. <laughs> yeah, the hard boiled egg viral challenge. Thing. By the time you land in Memphis, there'll be some really pissed <laughs> off people. You'll get your viral video. Seven deadly sins of travel number five: <laughs> the chatty Kathy. Oh yeah. Oh, that's uh, cool. You're visiting your grandson in Nebraska, <laughs> and he won honor roll for the third straight year. That's great. You see these earbuds? <laughs> that means I don't care. <laughs> I, I see. I put in earbuds so that I'm not the chatty guy. Because if they're not in, I'm going to talk to you. That doesn't sure. stop All the people. Way. That doesn't stop people. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes them go more. And I'm like, oh. you know how you deal with that? Instead of the earbuds, you put full on wireless headphones Ooh, on. Oh, good. Jim. And you have them on as you get on the plane. Right. Like, like the NFL players do when they're warming right up. Now, See, I, I would, can't talk to you when I sit down. <laughs> That's what I, I do in my office when you guys come in. I'm sorry, I'm on a phone call. See, I would think that you would enjoy talking to people on a plane. I think, no, because yeah, I, I talk to you two all morning. <laughs> Oh, well, that's enough to make me never yeah, want to talk yeah, to anybody. By the time I leave this yeah. building, I become an introvert. Well, I thought you'd want to talk to people that actually listen to you, though. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 
I said the best two for last. Seven Deadly oh Sins of Travel, God. number six. <laughs> you butthole. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope neither one of you are this, although Here. I don't th- I don't think I'm sitting next to either one of you. Jen missed this opportunity. <laughs> oh, there you go. Wait, wait. Swear jar. Can, I I swear say, can I say swear something jar. real quick? Because okay, this, sure. uh, this stuff's just popping in my head. So this is Jake in the morning. So Jake is basically <laughs> sort of sits where he is, and Jen's over there, and I'm over there. She and I are so ADD that no. sometimes, sometimes we're talking to each other, but we don't know it. <laughs> like, I'll be saying something to her, and all the, you'll hear Jake go, uh, she's not listening to you. <laughs> or uh, he's not listening. Like, he'll be in the corner telling us <laughs> who's not listening to I'm us. Like, You're I'm so like, used yeah. to nobody responding like, to you that you just assume they're listening. You're like, I just keep talking. Yeah. And she does, too. And, and he'll be like, my job is mind. the guy at the, the, the red light, green light. <laughs> Go stop. Yeah. yeah, you can red light now. That's, okay, <laughs> number seven. Nobody. Number does. seven. All right, no number six. Six. Um, the seat hogger. Uh, All right, cool. I know oh. these seats are snug, but dude, this armrest is half mine. Move your elbow. You're oh. overlapping into my kidney right now. Is right. it half? Is is one of the armrests yours and one not though? I always wonder how that works. If you're on the aisle, or middle get middle share person. Yeah, if you're if you're in the armrest on the aisle side, lean into the aisle. Watch out for your elbows. Those carts come by quick. Yep. If you're on the window <laughs> side, lean to the window. window. If you're in the middle, you have a lane. Right. Stay out of my effing yeah, lane. Yeah, but your lane <laughs> includes <laughs> the armrest. So. If you're in the, the middle, bomb. you get the, you, your I first dibs did, on the armrest. I edited what? Your first dibs on the armrest. If you're in the middle. Yeah. And look, I don't need the whole thing. I'm, you know, I'm not I am a whole the thing big guy. That's why. You can't divvy that I up. am by the window They're on one of my flights If I have yeah. my arms crossed and I'm not Dang using it. either, I shouldn't feel your elbow in my kidney. Just saying. Oh. Yep, I agree. Well, all I'm saying is I feel sorry for anybody that gets on an airplane that is over six feet tall True. and a big guy or big woman because it is. It sucks. It, it, it does yeah, suck. Yeah, Jake, you're six, one. Six, one. You look like you're six, three at least. Uh. It, it's miserable, isn't it? it I mean, and because yeah, I'm five, flight. I'm five ten, and that's and you're, yeah, and then your shoulders yeah. are sore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm five hurts. ten, and I'm and I'm mis- and I and two hundred pounds, and I'm like this, and I'm like, oh, miserable. Two yeah. hacks for that. Uh, more about the leg room than it is about the arm room, but uh, the front seating and like the Southwest flights. You have all that leg room. You can stretch yeah. out. Sure. That's great, but you don't have a tray. But so those are that. taken by the time you get on. True, but yeah. exit row. Same. Yeah. Some people don't like the exit row because they have to commit to saving everyone's life if the plane goes yeah. down, which never happens. I am not I've never seen one on. person go like, oh, yeah, I need to be reseated. <laughs> yeah. I am not responsible enough. But there's Dude, that, that one chair that you have, like, no chair in front of you. That would be awesome, though, wouldn't it? I'm <laughs> nobody's hero. <laughs> yeah, I got that before. Go, nope, I'm it's, out. It's funny. I got, me. I got that seat a few few months ago, and I got there, and I'm stretched out. My legs are out. I'm like, oh, this is going to be the best flight ever. And the lady in the two-seater next in front of me. Yep. So like, literally had the gall to ask me, by the way, headphones were in. It said, <laughs> hey, do you mind switching me spots? Yeah. Because uh, really? no. you know what? I think I'm good. Mm. Have a nice flight, <laughs> ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> How much money you got? It's like, yeah. it's like asking somebody yeah, first class to make a change. Especially because, like, a lot of times you have to pay to upgrade those. Well, yeah, like, because I was looking really? to try yes. an upgrade. Because me and Jake, mm-hmm. the first time we Jake tried to go to Memphis in November, <laughs> Jake and I, <laughs> when we tried to go to Memphis in November, we upgraded our seats into, like, the extra leg room area. The economy or whatever it was? Right. Yeah, was economy nice. plus or whatever. Yeah, and right. it was nice because it had more room. I mean, sure. we had to pay almost 100 bucks each to do it. Can we do that again tomorrow? Uh, you probably like, can't once you I, get there. This is a American Airlines. Th- it's 71 bucks for each An for us to upgrade oh, to, per like, the extra too. per flight. Well, that sounds worth it. 71 bucks? Okay, well, Times if you want to do it, you can, but, but this that, was more expensive than the flights that we had back in November. And that brings up a good point. Like, I, I don't fly every day, but when I do fly to LA or Vegas for Southwest Airlines, you can upgrade. You can become the first boarding class. You can pay that A fee. Mm-hmm. It's like 25 bucks. Yeah. And if you don't want to be angry and mad because you got the last seat in the back of the bus, hey, pay the 25 bucks. Yeah. And then you could sit in the first row and with the open spot, you get on board. You know, they do A, B, and C boarding. It's way easier. If ever I fly Alaska, I always upgrade to first class. Yeah, we try to do that same thing. To first class? To first class. Yeah. Whoa. I, Alaska I, first class is the best. Okay, awesome. hey, but like, isn't it that, is. are we talking like 600 bucks? No. no. Alaska, no. Makes it re- Alaska makes it really reasonable to be in first class. Mm-hmm. What's it cost? Um, when it I would varies. fly from Billings to here, it was only 55 bucks. Oh, hell. Yeah. Holy yeah. crud. And with yeah. some airlines, and I was in pregnant, Midwest, so you have to pick fly the plane. Right, two hundred dollars. That looks real. No, let's talk about that. Doesn't that look really uncomfortable up there? Can you imagine being trapped up there in that little cockpit for that 
Did With we... all those buttons? Yeah, no thanks. Oh, Oof. I know. I'm anxious. That makes my you blood have a pressure. I'm trying to deal with the board. Well, you know how good I am with hitting, <laughs> hitting the right buttons, though. I would have no problem. I <laughs> didn't get it. <laughs> I heard you. Did this you say we have to land in six minutes? <laughs> this is Tony Russell. Uh, we're going to land about you... 25 minutes late today just because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I, I, well, I ignored you because I was going after that some self-deprecating joke myself, Dave. <laughs> we're at our cruising uh, altitude, and you uh, might notice that <laughs> Portland is now 300 miles behind us. Yeah. So we're going to take That's a quick funny. detour and circle. <laughs> Playing around, we should be arriving about 15 yeah, minutes sorry. late. I was checking Tinder and Bumble when I. <laughs> oh, that's a nice view of Mount Hood. <laughs> and missed the computer telling me it was time to land. Okay, so what's number seven? Oh, yes. Okay, are you ready for this? Oh, no. Good Lord, I thought I, we were already there. I have to preface <laughs> by saying this is not a jab at anybody who is handicapped. Oh, anybody Lord. who is in a wheelchair. Jesus, but I have cool? never seen more miracles than I've seen on an airplane. And by that, True. I mean the people who need assistance getting on need to be in a wheelchair wheeled onto the plane but when it comes time to make a mad dash off that plane no wheelchair it's a miracle <laughs> <laughs> oh if you, you, have, have, you get on the airplane, if you, you really get, you're lying. No, I swear to God, you count the them. Holy Spirit came down. <laughs> you know why? I want to wait healed. till everyone's <laughs> off the plane to deplane and get no, on that no, wheelchair again. Joe, they're closer to Jesus when they go in the airplane. <laughs> oh, they will be when I see them. <laughs> it's easier for him to get his hands down on them. He's no old. rule. If you get on the airplane in a wheelchair, you get off the airplane in a wheelchair. Because otherwise, <laughs> I'm thinking you're scamming the system to get first choice of seats, especially on a Southwest flight. West. Sorry, give me Southwest, talk flight. Southwest flight. Yep. <laughs> and I load you. I've seen it before. And I'm extremely jealous of your hustle. Oh just saying. Oh my right. gosh, that can is. Can I just can I sidebar that? Hold on. You know how they always say like you get extra time if you have a two year old and under. You do. I yeah. think if you have any kids, you should get to get on Agreed. first. I agree with like that. two Agreed. years old isn't that. like the cutoff of your kid right. magically becoming easy to herd onto to a place. Right. I'm, I'm with you yeah. on that. If they're oh, yeah. a little three year old Johnny, hey, come on, get on your side. See a six. Because I mean, you got their. And I would say ten or under, right? Ten or under. Yeah. yeah. Why yeah. is getting on the plane early ever a benefit? <laughs> yeah, because on man. Southwest flights, you, you get, get to pick your seat. seat. So on Southwest, yeah, and it's would, a thing. I'm no, no, telling no, no. you. Let Dick. We should probably talk. That would be a good one for because I want to know that too. Because I people like jump up and get in line when you got assigned seats, and I'm always thinking, why are you in a hurry right. to get? We're it? Like, taking I'm off thinking, I want to be time. the last one on. Yeah. Right. Well, I, sometimes I that sucks in. for finding a place for your bag, but yeah. That's a good point. That's, a good That's point. that could be. Yeah. yeah. But man, I'm like I once I get in there. I start kind of getting. That's when the anxiety hits because I I feel like I'm trapped. I, you right. don't even want to know what I think when I'm inside. Yeah, why do you want to get on there early? I don't. I don't oh, know. And I, I'm a, so I'm you a, can sit longer. Oh, one suitcase <laughs> underneath the part the thing in front of me. Like I never I never bother anybody. As try to be as little as possible. And so I want to be last. I want to walk into the Blazer game as the national anthem's kicking off. <laughs> like why am I? Why am I showing up early? I don't need I like, like to watch the warm ups. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I get you. I've never uh, got it. I don't either. I want to yeah. be like, I want to want him to be a last call. Mm-hmm. Jen, yeah. Have yeah. you ever been on a flight where you didn't check that? <laughs> I thought your grass has never yep. been on time. Okay. <laughs> all, my, yeah. all my flights to Billings, I never checked. Like I never checked. Yeah. Well, because the planes are so small. <laughs> like, yeah. there's, there's literally only 30 people on them. Yeah, they're like tiny that planes. Your, um, your carry on and sometimes a little bit bigger. If you don't check it and you just go to carry it on, they put it under the plane anyway. Like there are no carry-ons oh, besides yeah. like a purse. Yeah. So it's a little puddle jumper. I, I flew first class to West Virginia one time and all that meant I had a curtain behind me and they gave me like one drink of orange juice. Or You're something. good to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm like, what's the difference? No, I had a really good quiche one time and I got champagne on the airplane. That's yeah. yeah. Delta. And they take my coat and no on Alaska. Alaska is really good at oh, that. Man. They give you a warm rag. Yes. To sit on your face. Yes. They give you a bottle of water and then they feed you in first class. I, I a, little, miss, a little lower on the back. I missed. Please. I missed oh, a yeah. flight one time. It wasn't my fault. It was a. No, you. It was a. No, it was an exchange and there was a storm. So and there they was whiskey up, involved. They upgraded me to first class. <laughs> nice. Really. And I had one of those chairs and literally you push the button and it went down so that I was laying flat almost. Wow, that's, that's like, oh, yeah. I like a sleeper. sleeper. Yeah. Yes. yes. That was and, awesome. And yeah. free booze. Yeah. That yeah. was awesome. <laughs> that's all if you I'm going to be on a flight for longer than three or four hours. I'll I'll pay the money. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. will too. That just sucks. And yeah. I feel bad for the baby comment, especially with Jen's look afterwards. Maybe if the people next to the baby got some free drinks out of it, they would make everything a better place. Am I yeah. right? No. I mean, mm. it it does suck. Like their you know their ears are popping and, and they have to <laughs> yeah, sit yeah, yeah. still in the same spot for so many hours. Like 
I'm sure the kid isn't purposely no, throwing I, a fit. Like, no. like, I know. They just, just don't want to be stuck there. Which right. is awkward and, and uncomfortable. And the parent, the parent feels oh, worse than anybody else who's annoyed by the kid because mm. they realize that their kid's getting fussy and they're trying to have them be quiet. Sure. And, and, and you're starting to panic <laughs> no, and people are looking at you. I'm always overly nice to those people. I'm like, uh, when I see that happening, I start being very nice to the parents so that they know I'm okay. Right, right. Although even if I'm a little annoyed, but that's why you have headphones. You I'm put nice. them in so you don't hear the kids screaming. But I, <laughs> you know, any of us that have had children at all, yeah. Even though if it's annoying, you're not going to be upset with them. No, or you're not. To to be we all mean to those people is horrible. Right? I'm yeah. not mean to them. I know. You're, I'm, mad. you're but I'm, you're saying I'm nice it's to the people in the wheelchair too. Till I see them get up and sprint off the plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You're> little, <laughs> okay. Uh, did I miss any? No. Well, yes. No. Okay, hit so me. You, so you, you, you said you want to find out what ours are. Oh, is I there have, any other sins that I missed? I have two. Hit Uh-oh. me. One is carrying on a bag that is too big to fit in the overhead. Yes. Yeah, dude. Come on. The yes. whole thing. You're supposed to measure your bags and drop it. Can it fit? No. Thank get you. It Nobody in. does it. Yes. And I, I, I get so frustrated. So I, like, Kimmy has actually sat me down, like, to put her hand over my mouth. Like, are you that <laughs> freaking stupid? They're up there with, like, a mallet trying to hammer yes. it into the overhead Yeah, they're, bin. like, trying to push it in, and everybody's well, watching going, you know, that doesn't fit. This what is are the you crazy doing? Thing. And I, I'll use this as an example. I think Jake... Uh, we were together at C- uh, in Nashville for CMAs years ago. We had a guitar that was signed by everybody, and the lady's like, look, I, I told her, I said, this is a carry-on, my only carry-on. I have to be very careful. This this is irreplaceable. It's signed by everybody. Can we please find a special spot? She said, sure, we'll put it in the very back or whatever. This lady comes in with a bag that's obviously too big for the overhead, and she's, Ur, Ur, and she's <laughs> trying to shove it in there, and I'm like, I'm going to kill this lady. First of all, why are you bringing that big of a bag on? And why didn't somebody stop her at the front door and say, this is too big, ma'am. Sorry, we're just going to tag it and put it below right. because it's really easy. And they're usually good about something like that. They are, yeah. but somehow she got through. And that's the thing that drives me insane. The other thing is, like Jake said, okay, you want to be first on the plane to get off. Why when the plane lands, you hear, tick, 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 tick. everyone's seatbelts are coming off. And you're like, you're in a hurry to stand up because <laughs> you're stand- not at the gate. And yeah. you're not even fully standing yeah. up. You're in that awkward, yeah. like, bend over because the ceiling's so and low. it never fails. Yeah. This guy, it's the guy that's in row 24 that's got to get to the front row. Like, he yeah. passes six rows before he gets stopped. And it's oh. like, ah. You're like, come on, bro. Where do you think you're going? Where or are the you, people are you behind doing? you trying to go in before you? It's yes. like, hey, no, I'm in front like, of you. Like, hey, there's yes. a zipper system here. Yes. Your lane, Merge. my lane. Yeah. Your lane, Although my lane. in Sacramento on a Monday night, I flew back. I've never seen this before. They boarded the plane with both entrances, the front and the back. So You've you, never if, seen that? No, I never yeah. have. So I could, I could either what? go along I've the, never the seen little it. corridor or I can take the <laughs> stairs down and carry my own bag and walk outside and go yep. in the back. Yeah. They wouldn't let it let us deplane that way in Portland. I don't know if they have oh, They don't do here. it in Portland. They don't have two jetways. There's only certain oh, airports that, that have it. Sacramento. Man, that was awesome. How great would that be? It doesn't Dude, Seattle. Two I walked, exits. I walked right Seattle. in, uh, sat right Mesa, down. Everyone was still loving the front of the plane. All areas have an airport. One time. Phoenix. I don't fly that often, but it did happen one time, and I didn't know because we deplaned that way. I didn't know that was happening behind me. So you're like tripping out? No, I literally didn't know until somebody, sir, you can get off. The entire plane behind you is gone. Oh, they didn't <laughs> try to bump <laughs> That's <Whoa>. sweet. <laughs> Uh, what what happened to those people? people? <laughs> Let's make that a thing nationwide because that was pretty awesome. It's so efficient to board and deplane, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> but I could see the plane. Everybody is now going to be running for the back of the plane. Like, wait, don't go in. No, yet. it should be like a line in the middle. If you're on this <laughs> side, you go that way. Unless there's some crazy slow yeah. person slowing That's everything true. up. If you're on this oh, side. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. There is always some aisle. money slow. I have yeah. a sin. And it's funny. All the all the wheelchair people will wheel right to the back. Like, well, how are you going to get off the plane? You have to go down the stairs. Oh, I know how. And then, boom, they're running out the back of the plane. True. What's yours? <laughs> Shoes. I can't get over that, can oh, I? Oh, yes. Don't take your effing shoes off in an airplane. <laughs> yes. No Feel one us? wants to smell your example. stinky ass feet. <laughs> wow. Okay? Is, is that <laughs> worse than you. food? That is <laughs> yes. it. Yes, it's worse than food. And it, especially if you hate feet. Like some people just, some people don't take care of their feet. Let's be honest. They look like Barney Rubble feet. <laughs> right? And, and on an airplane, he who <laughs> smelt it did not necessarily dealt it. <laughs> That's okay? true. So keep it. Tucked away or go use a lavatory. And it's funny you say that, Jen, because most of our record reps that we yes, have to deal with, I see their they pictures all take photos all of someone's foot like up against the window, and there's like a brown, nasty yeah. nail. I'm like, oh, uh, you, know you know who does the best uh, capturing of moments on airplanes? Raffi. <laughs> Raffi. Raffi and 
Byron. Yeah, oh, Byron's really good at it. Yeah, he, he does this thing where he'll put cherries on people's noses when they're asleep. <laughs> now I never want to sleep on an airplane no. again. Oh my god! <laughs> it's not so like literally. Funny. He does it with emojis on yeah. Snapchat. Yeah. Oh, so I don't even really like that yes, guy. But he'll go. also zoom in on people's trays, like when food, because trays are not clean at all. There's so many germs on those things. Right. They don't really clean them on a regular basis. Um, and he'll like zoom in on when people's food, like pretzels, hit the thing and they'll eat it. <laughs> oh, and they're like, no, no, what are you? No, it's, no, it's very no, funny. It. Yeah, so I've seen some. And it's not just things. like taking off the shoes and having socked feet. It's like people will take off their socks Ugh, right. and then not just Why? leave them on the floor. Like this is a tiered system here. There's shoes on, <laughs> which cool. That's it's, <laughs> that's what you should do. The next tier down is you took off the shoes, but you have socks on. Like, right. okay. I okay, yeah, they're on the floor, and then there's socked feet that are up on like the seat area, touching like part of the seat. You know what I mean? Like Nasty. the kind of yeah. And then there's socks off on the floor, but then the worst offense of all is socks off feet up, Ugh. touching. You know how there's the like between sure. the seat, yeah, those thing, and you can kind of set your foot on it. No socked feet, people doing that. So your foot's close to my area of this. Well, yeah, one gross. step, one step <laughs> worse than that, doing all that while clipping your toenails, Tony. Oh, <laughs> I've never clipped my toenails on a plane. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Why would he? They're groomed here in the Bull he Studio. tears them off on a plane. Yeah, yeah. He uses his teeth, which yeah, I thought was weird. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know you're so flexible. No, I'm at that age where you just don't take your socks oh. off. I oh, mean, God, you no. don't, you know, you, you Brian, just, you think you guys are really? getting ugly feet. Wait till you're my age. Brian just said he had a lady clip her toenails on a flight next yeah. year. Oh, oh, my God. No. I, would ask I'm be, I might ask yeah. to be moved at that um, point. Brian also suggested carrying a loaded diaper. I don't know what that good, what good oh. that would do. Um, uh, Holly says, no, you're no. all adorable. Fun to see faces that go with voices. She must be stuck on Jim's frame. I don't know why she would say that about the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, Brian, where did the ask me where the clippings went? Oh, oh. in her purse, in your food? Oh, uh, no, on the tray. I don't know. I bet they went, on, went the on the tray. She's clipping them on the tray. I want to know, Brian. Yeah. That's gross. Brian, yeah. comment back. Uh, That's crazy. Okay, well, we'll be waiting for that. Jake, comment. do you have one? Nah, you guys uh. are all a bunch of a holes. Oh. <laughs> oh, whatever, Mr. Hey. Rule follower. Nope. Till tomorrow. I can't wait to see what Jake Bother does. Old other people. Oh, <laughs> well, I can't wait to fly Don't with Don't leap Jim. up and, uh, you know, run and take cuts. But other than that. I feel like we're going to learn a lot about each other tomorrow. Jen and you Jake. Think. Just being like on the plane. far from you guys. <laughs> Jake, I think you guys are upgrading to first class. Jake's, uh, Jake's going to sit in the back. Mojo's going to be in the middle. And Jen's going to upgrade to first class. Oh, I'll be no, there with my first AirPods class on, on American Airlines is like rape. That's not even. Yeah, yeah. that's not worth it. No, I'm going to uh, to prepare myself for the stinky food and feet by bringing she put myself on the tray. An, uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, the, tray, <laughs> the trays are nasty. Don't touch them. <laughs> now you know why. This is why you don't spill your food on the tray and then eat it. Yeah, but now you know why people bring their food on because you can't touch them. They're disgusting. Well, on that note, I think that pretty much killed the buzz of the room. So yeah. I think it's a good time to wrap up. <laughs> Safe travels tomorrow with Jake and, uh, and and Jen and myself. And we'll be, uh, of course, sharing lots of moments. Uh, mm -hmm. Watch it on social Photos, media. yeah. Um, at Jen Hayes, at Jake Byron Media, at Mojo Roberts, and at 987 yeah. The Bull. And mm -hmm. Tony, I'll hold down the fort. Yeah. And if you want some selfies, always, I'm Tony the one Russell working. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Somebody has to do it around he's here. He's going to actually have to work a Friday this week. <laughs> the horror. <laughs> and the ball sitting here. Jake's not here and Jen's not here, so I can't call in sick on Friday. What am I going to do? <laughs> Tony's confused. It's like, we talked about a Monday through Thursday schedule on the BS, and what are you guys doing? Yeah, I pulled for A. Yeah, I don't really talk that way. <laughs> uh, Wednesday's 1030. You can always uh, catch BS and uh, watch it or listen to it on uh, wherever you listen to podcasts or at 987thebull.com. For Tony, Jake, Jen, Danny Dwyer, and myself, Mojo, thank you. See ya.